Yeah, Gat. Didn't think these would all be here. He's even got his camera and he's having on top of it. Get out and do it a while, Campton. You know it makes sense, you. No, it makes sense. Hi guys, I'm back out again. And this time I'm in some local woodland. I'll start again. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back out again. And this time I'm in some local woodland. And we found a, a really good. Oh, I'll introduce you first. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back out again. This time I'm in some local woodland. And I'm out with a couple of guys, Man Camper 66 and the Chevy Yeti. A couple of loonies. And we're meeting Paul, anything outside. He hasn't arrived yet, so the four of us are camping in this new location. Yes, you guessed it, we found a new wild camping spot. You can tell it's a good spot because there's no rubbish left whatsoever. Just gonna be sleeping on the ground like a dirty dirk. A ground dweller like me. Uh, these ground, two, the ground dwelling hominid. Uh, Davy's been here since half past eight. He's already set up. I'm just waiting for Paul to arrive now, and I'm going to be ground dwelling in a bivy bag under what? a El Chico tarp, which I've got hidden in the woods somewhere. Well, that one I melted earlier on. Did you? Yeah. Well, we've just about got our camp set up. I'm sleeping under a tarp in a bivy tonight. I've got a ridge line tied between two trees and I've basically got like a loop, pushed the cordage through and I've put a toggle in so it's quick release. On the other side, I've got a truck as hitch, which is like me tension and knot. I wasn't quite happy tying the guy lines to the trees. My tarp doesn't look right. So I've made some tent stakes just to try and make it look a bit better because that wind's picking up. In fact, I might need to add a couple more guy lines because it's flapping around. Great little camping access. And I've got a tip for you guys. If you're out in the woods, oh, carry a first aid kit because it doesn't matter how good you are, or how careful you try to be. Accidents will always happen. Cut yourself before. Get out and do it a while, camping. You know it makes sense. And I brought Flossie, the camp mascot. And I'm going to leave a trail camera on her all night to make sure nobody interferes with her. Flossie. Flossie. He's, got, he's got Flossie with him. What should it look like? Who's the guy there? Not by yourself? Yeah, Connie, Connie. Excellent. Yeah. Demi and I, son. Nice to be with you again. Aye, aye. Aye, you've got it all going on here, like, isn't it? Yeah, we've he... been uh, crafting and... Oh, look at this been, one. We've been right busy, little beavers. Mint. Does you know it makes sense? What do you think there's a bright and oh, that one you uh, made deck chair before? anyway? Aye, can it? Right. I've even sat in it as well. And it didn't break, not it like mine did. It didn't break. Oh, it's like a king's throne, man, isn't it? Aye, right. King Jiffy Jiffa of Zamunda. Looks like something you <laughs> nicked from the seaside. There is a little bit of bushcraft going on, isn't there, yeah. Davey? So it isn't now we're getting pissed in the woods. Yeah. So I'm going to cross this side, I'm going to have to go make a barbecue with her or what? Oh, look at this! Hey, aye, aye. Hey, we'll aye. just bend this down and... It is mint that light, isn't it? See? It's going to do some serious And I dragged that. that 
over three counties to get that here. Teamwork. Yeah. And that's Davy's bus chair. Excellent piece of what, piece of work. With a twist in it. Yeah, there's a twist of it. Yeah. Just twisting it. Twisting the tail. It adds character. Twisting by the pool. I didn't know how tied them knots like I think it might have been Stevie Wonder, but uh, again. Uh, he always keeps on cropping up, doesn't he? Use that gag a few times, haven't I? Uh, it's getting old hat new, isn't it? <laughs> as long as it does the job. Have you tried sitting on it yet? Yeah, I know. It's a bit wonky, mate. Oh, yeah, I'm on a hill, you know. Okay. That's some nice plan. Right, we're going to do a spot of fishing now. <coughs> there's pike, there's perch, and there's other coarse fishing here. But I'm after the big fish. And so a chupacabra. <laughs> Sam's one. They come out at night. There. There's a chupacabra in, in that bush somewhere across there. I'm using this diving plug. I had loads of luck with a few when I was a boy. Actually, I've had this plug since I was a kid. And he used it as a butt plug while he was on? At Bowlam Lake, I caught a jack pike. So I'm going to try it again. I've got a, a wire trace, obviously because pike have got sharp teeth. So here it goes. Oh, I've seen them take uh, ducklings before. Go on, Damien, get in there. I'm going to kind of try that top corner up here. Ooh. I'm going to have one more cast and I'm going to call it a day because I'm not catching much. I was thinking about going back actually. See, that's the, see the tactic used guys, the little bit of a twitch on the road there. That's how it's done. That's a Imitating a distressed fish. Yes. Alright, no good. Oh, I see him here. Yeah. Worth a try though. Aye, it was, a little bit of a dabble. It's a little bit disappointing I haven't caught any fish, but that's the way it goes. If you caught fish every time you come fishing, it would get boring actually. You've got to experience the lows to enjoy the highs. I'm pleased I did actually get on there and try a little bit of fishing, like, you know. So it's your fault we're caught now? <laughs> but I, I think it, it might be a time where we, where we come back under, like, different weather conditions. Yeah. Right, guys, we're going back. Maybe let's try something else. Maybe it's a bit of bushcraft. What's your wedding tackle? Triple tackle on forwards. So we're going to have a little bit of a barbecue, and then but I want me to get that. I've got some veg from uh, the allotment. It's mint. This reminds me of Harvest Festival, when oh, when yeah. you used to bring all your veg in to school and you used to deliver it to the old people's houses. Yeah. That's, that's what it is. Look at that, eh? Ah, we need a chopping board. Right, we've got a chopping board. So, <laughs> Fanny Craddock, eat your heart out. We'll just get like that in bit off there, the, the roots. Look at that man, look at that. Oh look at him, he's loving it. This is where it's at like. You want a bigger knife? Make, no, this'll do. Making sure you're keeping your fingers well out the way, cause the slip up here, you know, your fingers are off and that's your night spoiled, so. And you can't beat freshness. Freshly picked from the allotment this morning. This. You're good. You're all hot. Oh! Whoa! Whoa. There must be some serious heat there for that. To... Moisture in the stones. Yep. It's like, yeah, it's just basically just moisture escaping. I reckon them stones only had one campfire on it. Possibly. I reckon I. That's why they're doing that. Did that because the water is sooty? You need safety specs on, man. We've done that. Sooty and sweep. Him as well. 
we're gonna have me sell this bad boy here. I was gonna um I was gonna Look put onions that. in them and all but like it was that. just it was easier. Look at that. It doesn't get much better than it that. Doesn't it doesn't get much better than that, does it? No. Paul's a bit of a master when it comes to cooking this sort of stuff. Yeah. To the sounds of nature as well. And that isn't Damien farting. Oh, look at this man. Mm -hmm. That's a hog up there. He knows us food. He's mm -hmm. obviously smelling that, isn't he? I reckon. He knows us being a kill. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these are excellent kebabs, these Paul. Sweet. Oh, that's a funny body cold and get them. But he survived in prison. Kid, starvation, a couple of in prison. And he still gets kicked out by it even. Big ass of lords, right? Mm -hmm. That'll do me, Mara. No, I've got a bit more there. That'll do, mate. Thank you very much. Are you sure? Oh, spot on. That's just here, gold. There you are, Damien. Thank you. Whatever. <laughs> Enjoy. Hee <laughs> hee mm. You're good. That's lovely, that. Hey, spot on this, mind. Look at this. That smell is, it smells lovely. Proper, like, Proper garden water. veg. Garden veg, man. I'd just like to say thank you, lads, for making this such a, a memorable occasion. In times in times of stress and and what have you, during the um, COVID uh, crisis, so... Keep it tight, lads. Yeah, keep it tight and uh, stay safe and all of that bollocks. Ass. Yeah, mm -hmm. tight. yeah, definitely. Like I say, it's a brand new location and uh, you know it's spot on. It ticks all the boxes. This, uh, hope we can keep it like you know between yeah. ourselves. Yeah. And, uh, we'll obviously sort right. of like uh, tidy our shite up afterwards. She's a stunner, isn't she? She, she definitely is a stunner, like. Me and Flossie and I were like love at first bleat. We just we just love each other. Like. <laughs> this is what it's all about, you know. Watch us. You know what I mean? You know, Flossie, you're all mine. You've always been mine, forever and ever a day. But if you ever sort of like leave us for somebody else, I'll, I'll be you on the fire. I'll be gutted. <laughs> if you ever leave, I'll stick a pin in you. If you ever threaten to leave us, I'll burst you. <laughs> <laughs> you're with me for life now, Flossie, because you're mine forever. <laughs> you know, let me know. Look at that. Yeah, Look, yeah, yeah. Isn't she beautiful? She she's is, she's a gorgeous. Stunner. She's a stunner, like. <laughs> mm. Boland. It's one of their moorlands where. I just don't know where I am. Well, I didn't for a split second. And then I thought, what am I doing here? Why am I here? I know I've got to get up, but I don't want to get up. I just feel rough. But the, the lads are already packing up the go. But I'm just going to go back to sleep. I'm trying to go back to sleep. It's try to sleep this bad heat off, because I'm just, it's just throbbing. He's away then. Right, that's Aye. where we're, Damien. Been fantastic night. Been absolutely tremendous. Yeah, same here. Great yeah. crack. Yeah, great, great bush crack, craft. <laughs> well, there was a lots of bushy conversation last night, wasn't there? Was. There was. <laughs> I, right. just, I just feel ill. We'll have to get out again soon because we all know it makes sense, Damien, don't we? No. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I haven't got much to say. I've got yeah. no crack. I can't even be out to do the horns. That. Yeah. Bit of a sore head. Yeah. So on a somber note. Good finger. Yeah. See, we'll see us all see on, you later. The, on the next one. On the next and remember, one. take your rubbish away after you. And leave no trace. Well, I've gotten up. I'm still feeling a bit rough. I've took a couple of headache tablets. I suppose I better make tracks and start putting stuff away. Well, that's... 
Well, I don't know what to say except that I'm just rough. Rough, but I'm ready to go home. We've packed up most of our stuff. Well, even one or two items, like tops and that, it's just hidden in the woods here because it's a which when you wild camping spot and we'll be coming back. But we've picked up our rubbish basically and put it in bags and we'll be taking that out with us. Man camper and Paul's already gone away. And me and Davey are just uh, the stragglers, we're the last ones to leave. But it's been a good one from what I can remember. I had quite a few tinnies last night and just. What, what else can I say? I'm just. Look, I'm not going to hang around. You go out to say, Davey? Sorry, I haven't got much crack for you, but that's the way it goes. <laughs>